This is called Rag Abhogi. It's one of the first ragas I ever heard in my life when I was 12 years old from a record called The Genius of Ravi Shankar. It really made a huge impression on me as a child and kind of inspired me on my whole musical journey in my life. Abhogi, it comes from the Karnataka or South Indian tradition, but it's been adapted into the North Indian tradition for many years, and it's also known in the North as Abhogi Kannada. The Kannada family of ragas are a group of ragas for the nighttime, and they all use this phrase, Abhogi is then in this family, but it's only a five note raga. So you have basically straight up and down, besides that one little phrase for the Kannada. So if we look at this rag through a Western lens, it has kind of two colors which you can juxtapose. The Purvanga, the lower half, is like a minor scale built on seconds up to the fourth note. The Uttaranga, the upper half, is built on thirds, so it's a much more open sound. So when you blend these two colors, you really bring out the bhava, the mood of the raga. in the light side, you could say. One thing also about this raga is there's no pa, there's no fifth. So you, the tanpura, the drone, is on the fourth. So what happens in a Western ear is you typically hear the ma as a tonal center. And so when that happens and you build this scale from the ma, the fourth note, you get triad and then a dominant seventh chord you could even have a like a classic boogie woogie sound in there so that's an interesting thing but in reality this is our saw so the beauty of the raga actually comes out from this shruti. Shruti is this microtonal inflection from one note to the next. And this, to me, is like a resolution of that tension. Coming to the sa, the real home, the real tonic. So, I'm going to play an alap, an improvisation, free improvisation on Raga Bogi, and a little bit of a jor, a rhythmic development. So you can listen for some of these interesting and unusual aspects of the Raga in this alap.